Hello everyone, welcome back to Outrius Plays Dead Souls, or as we like to call it, does some weird podcasty stuff while Dead Souls is on in the background. Let me talk about the game a little bit first, uh, because, you know, why why have a game if you're not going to talk about it? Um, yeah, good start. What I was going to say is, we've been doing a lot of experimentation in the, uh, in the actual game recently, which is what I mean it is. I've been trying to do things that are without my comfort zone, and I mean without in the uh, very archaic sense because I'm 100 years old and I prefer to use words like they probably meant in the 18th century, what they really mean now. Um, this being said, I'll just take this kebab. Uh, what I mean here is, let's put this in terms of another game that we're all highly familiar with, uh, in Binding of Isaac, which by the way, I think I will probably be bringing back to the channel at some point because there's going to be a new expansion <clears throat> uh, early next year, I think. Yeah, I have to excuse my croaky throat. Um, it's, it's just the way it is. You know? Deal with it. Uh, I tried to roll, but it didn't happen. Um, you don't in such a roguelite as Binding of Isaac, which is kind of the quintessential roguelite because it is really the game that spawned not necessarily the whole genre but uh the the big deal about the genre you take good items because they're good right you don't you don't not have a guppy run because you don't fancy it because you're trying to see if you're any good at the game without a guppy run you take guppy <laughs> you just do it you you take cricket's head you take um, Polyphemus. These are all, you just take these items. You don't go, ooh, should I do that? Are people going to be entertained if I do that? Yeah, because here's the thing. You play this game to talk rubbish in the background, not because people are actually necessarily entertained by what you're doing. I mean, fair's fair. Yes, okay. Maybe I should be once in a while trying something new just to make sure that when I do have the run where the equivalent of Polyphemus doesn't show up, you know, we, we have some opportunity to win, but this is like episode 25, yeah? That means I've got less than 25 hours in the game, even if you take into account the fact that I played a couple of episodes over on the you and I play all that time ago. You know, um, at 25 hours in the game, you're not so amazingly good at it that you need to start you know, making it difficult for yourself on purpose. And I'm starting to feel like maybe there's a little bit of that, you know, ooh, um, doing a shields run or, or a, a run full of difficult stuff just for its own sake is not getting us anywhere. We used to be able to get past the clock tower, right? And to some extent, maybe I've done it to myself by unlocking things that make it harder to get that perfect run. But then, you know, you're going to progress in the game. Not progressing in the game is seems silly. Don't do not no, do not do that. <laughs> don't cripple yourself. Oh, I didn't take my uh, money, look. I thought I picked it up at this. I thought I always pick it up. Let me go and get it. Um, so I'm going to stop doing that. And we're going to start taking items and builds that I'm good at. It's only 4,000 gold now, which means I died horribly in the last episode and I don't even remember. I scratched my knee and uh, in, in doing so, pressed the the button that drops that thing. It's right. By the time we get somewhere else, the cooldown will be cooled down. Don't worry about it. Chill your flipping beans. So, yeah, two and a half minutes on basically saying I'm going to play this game the way I want to play this game because that is what is happening. I'm going to drink. There's something satisfying oh, about drinking water directly from a bottle, I have to be honest. This being said, I'm still going to start unlocking things, but yeah, why not? I know that we've got an ice bow, which I like, but I'm going to take it. Shots pierce the first target, that's pretty nice. This just freezes the enemy, so let's get rid of it. Still got more, right. Uh, I mean, we, we can break through, but we've got so much to unlock, there's no point hanging on to these. We, it's going to be a long... Uh, please use the dude. Uh, it's going to be a while before it's a problem. I don't necessarily want to keep the torch, and I don't necessarily want to keep 
the repeater crossbow because I don't know if I like it. So I'm not going to pay any money on it. I do like a cleaver, which the weird ground saw thingies. Not, not having that though. Yeah, okay. Uh, burning target. We are burning things and hopefully we'll be able to uh, fire, light, burn, poison things uh, later. Let's go with red, basically. So the the runs that we used to have that were really good were the the backstabby runs with or, or the the third shot crit runs you know those two <laughs> items the the weapons whose names I've forgotten but whose functionality I hope I have very succinctly and accurately what right um, uh, represented just in my usual erudite fashion. Leave me alone. Okay, good. Um, so we're going to start taking things that hopefully provide us with some opportunity um, to progress rather than constantly doing weird stuff, basically. I don't want to do weird Ah, let me out. Ooh. Sometimes you don't grab onto that pipe, and I'm thinking you're going to grab onto that pipe, and then there's no grabbing onto that pipe. Uh, do we want an ice grenade over the crusher? I kind of do. So... What are we going to talk about today? Friends, family. You have to hold this button down or it just doesn't fire at all. Create interesting. We, I, okay, I do have one. I like to sort of collect f facts as I go around my daily life. Sort of, I can spend a lot of time thinking, which is not necessarily the best use of my time because there's not that much time in the world, you know. Life moves fast. Stop thinking about stuff and start doing stuff, bro. But no, it's not like that. Um, I, my job is thinking. Ooh, hi. So, uh, this is scary. We are fine. I mean, I don't know if we want to burn stuff or shoot stuff from afar. I'm going to get rid of this, and the reason is, um, quite simple, but I have forgotten how to speak. Um, we want to be able to set fire to stuff and then stab it in the back, basically. Uh, we've got the melee build, we've got a red build, our... No, move! Oh, you didn't... I tried to roll, but it wasn't ready. Um, the... The repeater crossbow seems like it could be cool in some situations, but no, not that one. <laughs> Mostly because it's accuracy over a distance, as you might expect for a machine gun. It is not great. So, my problem with it was that it's not really a ranged weapon. It's not suitable for a ranged weapon. It's really good, I guess, as an up-close and personal tactics build um, uh alternative to a melee weapon, but it's not a melee weapon and we've gone full red builds, so... I mean, we're already doing way better now that I'm in more, more of my comfort zone, which is something I was trying to get out of, and I maybe shouldn't have been doing that, if we want to progress further in this game, and I, I honestly think that maybe, even if I am considering the viewers, which is obviously currently not that many people, um, it seems like it should be more entertaining to get further and see new stuff than to see me flail about being bad at old stuff <laughs> you know in in different ways so let's uh, let's try and get a little bit quicker and see if we can get some new content looked at that was good uh, so yeah i mean i observe as i move around the world and then i sort of forget the thing there's um i've mentioned it before but there's a certain mindfulness to just talking crap whilst playing a game like this. Um, and what I hadn't understood when I first learned about mindfulness, which I think is something I've also already said before, is that when you let your mind wander, like the idea of, of a mindful meditation, I mean, meditation is one of those words, it almost seems like it has some stigma, so stigma, stigma, a stigmatism associated with it, because, ooh, now, ooh, Actually, I like what I've got, so I'm just going to buy this, uh, sell this, swap these out, swap them back. Um, 
meditation always seems a little bit like a, a word that you should avoid if you live in the Western culture because there's um like a I don't know if stigma is the right word, but it it seems like it has connotations. You know, it's um it's it's a an Eastern sort of spiritual practice that we don't really go for in this society, even though it has you know very good consequence. It's a consequence. Like um, the opposite of consequences. There's something over there, but I'm. Can I? Ah, hello. Prisoner two three six. The body doesn't look contaminated. How did this prisoner end up here? Another failed escape attempt. Right. An amulet. Thank you. So now we roll here and then jump quickly and then roll again. Great. Didn't even get poisoned. Perfect. Um, but yeah, mindfulness is a form of meditation. To I don't know if that's literally true, but it certainly seems true. So let's call it that. And when you do it, you... What they didn't tell me is that your mind is going to wander. Like it does right now when I'm just trying to think of something to talk about. I was going to talk about something completely different, but we're here. Um, you, you're supposed to. And you're supposed to listen to it. So that does happen sometimes to me. Especially when I'm cycling. Uh, I cycle to work and back. Uh, oh, I plugged my light in. I, I must remember to unplug it and put it back on my bike. I have a USB rear light, my red light at the back of my bike. It's USB. And when I bought it, it lasted quite a long time. So I thought, that's pretty good light. Um, it's LED, obviously, everything is these days. Quite bright. And graciously... It doesn't flash. It doesn't blink. Uh, it can, but you turn it off by holding the button down, not by pressing it a million times. And I don't know if I've said it on this particular channel, indeed, but it very much angers me that we have uh, so many bike lights that are default to flashing, even though, at least until very recently, or reasonably recently, it was completely illegal in the United Kingdom to have a flashing light on your bike. Or rather, it was not illegal to have one on your bike. It was legal, legally required that you had a steady white light on the front of your bike and a steady red light on the back of your bike, which is true of all vehicles. It's like half the number of uh, wheels rounded down. You know, Your car has to have two lights on the front of it. And they have to be steady. They can't be flashing. Flashing lights is emergency services. Even if they're what it's not allowed. Uh, plus, there is reasonable um, research to suggest that a flashing light is harder to what harder to look at. And if you want to not die, and trust me, you do not want to be hit by a car on the road. I've been there. Um, having a flashing light makes you harder to track. It's, you know, motorists just cannot see you as easily if your light is flashing. But people think it draws attention to you, which is not what you want. You don't want your attention to be drawn to you when you're on the road cycling. You want people to put you in the background and treat you like another road user, which is to say, avoid you as usual. If, if some police cars, for example, when they're pulled up to the side of the road, they are drawing your attention to them. And the reason that they are doing that is so that you know some... Something is going down. There's a reason that this is all happening on the side. It's a hazard. You know, it's a massive hazard. Other cars on the road are not hazards. If they were, they'd all have flashing hazard lights on them. But they don't. That's not how it works. Other cars are supposed to be on the road. That's not a hazard. That's driving. So then you get uh, cyclists treating themselves as though all cars should treat them as a hazard. And if you have someone treating you as a hazard, they're going to hit you. <laughs> you know, people rubberneck. They will they will look around and try and let's reforge these. Nice. Fair enough. Let's go all out. Don't want a grenade. Cool. Um if you, stop having flashing lights. You, you should have a steady light because then people can see how fast it's going, which direction it's going, you know, that it's there. And they won't try and drive into it like some Hypnotize morons, which they will do uh, if you've got a flashing light on your bike. Anyway, my light, you hold the button down and it just turns off. 
It's so very useful because then when you turn it on again, it's not flashing. It was as it was. Absolutely perfect. Could not ask for anything else. Except, you know, for it to last a little bit longer because as I when I bought it, it lasted maybe three months? Something like that? I don't even it's really hard to judge how long it lasted before I had to plug it in again, but it was some time, you know. Whereas now we've got um got ourselves in a bit of a pickle because uh, I said that because <laughs> I started using that turn of phrase because it was kind of appropriate to the, the game at hand, but um, I was talking about real life and something completely different. But the point is, I am now in a situation where I have to keep recharging it every week or so because for some reason it won't hold as much charge from being charged up as it did um, when I... Oh, Christ! I thought you were done. Is there another one? Stop it. Okay, let's um, use... It. There is another one! Right, is this better? Hang on. What, we'll get back to what we were talking about. I think we sell this uh, and swap it out because that's the correct thing to do. There were two there and I did not realise, which was very rude indeed. Uh, I'm being quiet because this is hard. <laughs> okay. Everything's there. Uh, okay, good. Um... Yeah, so I keep having to drive home, cycle home without a light on the back. And the reason that's a problem is that then I don't have a light on the back. But I don't notice because in the morning I don't need it. I don't know how to do that, by the way. <laughs> I know that was really, really bad. But I, I, I haven't got the hang of that particular um, spiky trap thingy yet. Can you look ahead of you rather than behind you when you're running forwards? If that's all right, can we just have a little bit of a you know, emergent gameplay whereby if I'm running forwards, show me where I'm going. What is happening? Right, I was so preoccupied by this that help. I thought I'd be doing a lot better, to be quite honest with you. Because <laughs> I have a build I'm comfortable with, but this is not to be the case today. What did you do there? You kept going upwards. What a weirdo. Okay, these uh, mushrooms are literally going to be the death of me in this run if I don't start paying a little bit more attention, but I'm not trying to pay attention. Use the rune. Stop with your weird headphone nonsense. Keeps uh, cutting out one of the two. Do you know what? We've we've got a decent amulet. Maybe we don't want it. Do you know, I'm not going to do it. I've only got one heal left because of my own inability to deal with stationary enemies that have a huge amount of telegraphing of their attacks. Help. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't need the... Oh, hello. I don't need the, 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 the amulet and... Oh, hi. I don't need that many cells, really. I mean, we're going to play this game some more. So, yeah, I, I tend to sort of accidentally meditate while cycling, which is kind of cool because that's one of the... Um, one of the ways of sort of getting in your, your mindfulness is to do it while exercising. Um, and, and really the way you do it is to just, just pay attention to what your body is doing. Oh man, I think I must have just about missed the teleporter up here, so now I have to go all the way back up and do it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, by paying good attention to what your body is doing and not really... You know, don't think about the world around you, just like I'm doing in this game and therefore failing abysmally. Just don't, don't pay attention to the world. Pay attention to your self. Oh, that's why we didn't go up here. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Um, you know, like, just feel your legs moving when you're cycling, you know, the, the rhythm of that. That's a good one. It's got the rhythm of the night. No, your legs, not the night. Are you getting that? I want you to get that. That's why I put you there. Why? Why are you allowed to do this? You're quite stressful. Let me out. Here you go. You die. Right, you get you. 
And then we kill these things before they get us. And then we just ignore that. Grand. Where did you come from? I'm trying to use my uh, skills is, but... I'm failing to accommodate the fact that the... Um, the wasp name that... Uh, the, the cleaver thing... Actually... Gets thrown quite far ahead of me! Stop grabbing ledges when I'm not asking. I need a button that means do grab this ledge rather than a button that means fall off this ledge. Because a number of times that I've tried to escape a situation and the dude's grabbed onto the ledge and climbed back up into it. And also, can we talk about the fact there's nothing here? I've made this huge amount of effort to get down here and all there is is poison and death. See that? What? There we go. Too hard? Should have killed this ages ago. There's some cash in it for me. So, <laughs> these are the times when I manage to think of some things that I'd like to talk about when we do these podcasty type episodes. Of course, what I end up talking about is. <laughs> Mate, you're a bell end, being honest. <laughs> oh, there's more. I don't even want to go back and try and sell that. Ah. <sighs> So frustrated, sometimes I just get really frustrated with the... This game is so smooth, and yet then there's really weird and annoying sort of caveats to that. Where I think it's going to be hella smooth and amazing, and then it turns out to be just a bastard. How do I just stop it? I climbed up here just to sell this. I knew it was there. That's okay. Like, look before you leap and everything, but at the same time, stop putting shit there when I'm trying to leap. In the first place, so it's not a problem. That's my uh, Cartman impression. Eric Cartman, ladies and gentlemen. Start using these more. And then immediately find out that you shouldn't have, because what you wanted to do was use the cleaver for this bastard over here. Which hasn't got a bat, so you can't just stab it in it. This is pro That's probably an enemy where the uh, rapier is good, because of course... You always get a crit after rolling for that, and I sort of consider this to be a crit after rolling, but it's really not, because um, not everything has a back. Most things have a back, and if you roll past it, you will often be behind it. But not everything. And again, I, I can't, I'm not paying enough attention to be able to see the little flash that you get when you're... Uh, Roll is ready. Completely irrelevant to me, to be honest with you. Impaler. Not necessary, although maybe it's about time we start thinking about replacing this torch, which I'm not really using. Then again, that's because I forgot about it quite a lot. Um, should really be thinking about it. Let's, um, let's try and get some proper DPS going and not worry about our HP too much. Because Mostly because we want to have a proper build, not just a, a balanced build. You know, non committal nonsense build. We want a proper decision about what we're supposed to be doing. Let's not fight an elite we don't have to fight. So, this may sort of basically turn into what I was thinking about on my bike today. Um, if I think about anything at all on my bike on that particular day, which doesn't always happen. I mean, today I was thinking about why are there so many bloody cars out today? Which is weird because it's Thanksgiving in America, but we don't have that. You know, in the UK, we've already done all of our, like, we, in many cases, are the indigenous people who were brutally murdered and, and exploited when other civilizations came across the sea, because we were taken over by the Vikings, which, mind you, I am uh, rolled into it. I am uh, descended from said Vikings, for sure. Apparently. I say for sure, and then apparently, like... Which one is it? Bro. I just really wish that you would stop putting spikes when I'm fighting something completely unrelated to you. Fudge! I didn't know you could do that. Let's get this thing down here.
Nice. Now you die. Now you lot die because you're on the thing. <gasps> Good. I really wish I had some way of recovering HP. Because, yeah, thanks for pretending to drop something useful to me and actually dropping money. It's not that there's a chef around here. Good job. We really need to start using the... Uh, is that a chef? No. need to start using this... Um, this torch a little bit more prodigiously and also just running away from things we don't want to deal with. <laughs> That's going to be my other game plan. Uh, we want to be up there, I guess. RT that, grab this. If we don't aggro anything that doesn't hate us already, then we should be okay. Um, basically anything that doesn't teleport to us. There was a lot of people, that's my point. There was no, it's not Thanksgiving today, there's no reason for everybody to be outside. And normally we go to puppy, uh, I say normally. In January, it's going to be a weekly event because we're signed up for puppy classes in January. Uh, and that's because we have a puppy. It's not just because of any other... It's not, it's not, it's not a weird thing, okay? Um, and by the way, that is where the puppy learns, not where... I mean, we learn to train the puppy, but the puppy learns to be trained, right? It's not... There's nothing strange happening here. I don't know why you have to keep looking for... Ah, you bastards! That is such a hard level. And do you know what? Most of the damage I took on that level, apart from me not being able to roll, was those damn spikes <laughs> showing up. Damn spikes showing up. When I was fighting one set of spikes, it was those early spikes that I did not notice were, uh, were damn spikes. There's someone else's spikes being involved, right? That really ruined the whole run, but... I say the whole run, it ruined the end of the run. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode again. Podcast Ahoy. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying the Cataclysm episodes that we're doing in that series. And look forward to some more retro games as I go through libraries of various things on the internet of abandonware and stuff like that. But until then, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you will leave a like and a subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, I'll see you.